The European Space Agency (ESA), French: Agence Spatiale Européenne (ASE), German: Europäische Weltraumorganisation, is an intergovernmental organization of 22 member states dedicated to the exploration of space. Established in 1975 and headquartered in Paris, France, ESA has a worldwide staff of about 2,200 in 2018 and an annual budget of about 5.72 billion euros tilde 6.6 .6 billion dollars in 2019. ESA's space flight program includes human spaceflight mainly through participation in the International Space Station program, the launch and operation of unmanned exploration missions to other planets and the Moon, Earth observation, science and telecommunication, designing launch vehicles, and maintaining a major spaceport, the Guiana Space Centre at Kourou, French Guiana. The main European launch vehicle Ariane 5 is operated through Arianespace with ESA sharing in the costs of launching and further developing this launch vehicle. The agency is also working with NASA to manufacture the Orion spacecraft service module that will fly on the Space Launch System. The agency's facilities are distributed among the following centers. ESA science missions are based at Estec in Noordwijk, Netherlands. Earth observation missions at ESA Center for Earth Observation in Frascati, Italy. ESA Mission Control ESOC is in Darmstadt, Germany. The European Astronaut Center EAC that trains astronauts for future missions is situated in Cologne, Germany. A research institute created in 2009, the European Centre for Space Applications and Telecommunications ECSAT, is at Harwell, England. And the European Space Astronomy Centre ESAC is located in Villanueva de la Cañada, Madrid, Spain. Topic: History. Topic: <laughs> Foundation. After World War II, many European scientists left Western Europe in order to work with the United States. Although the 1950s boom made it possible for Western European countries to invest in research and specifically in space-related activities, Western European scientists realized solely national projects would not be able to compete with the two main superpowers. In 1958, only months after the Sputnik shock, Eduardo Amaldi Italy and Pierre Auger France, two prominent members of the Western European scientific community, met to discuss the foundation of a common Western European space agency. The meeting was attended by scientific representatives from eight countries, including Harry Massey United Kingdom. The Western European nations decided to have two agencies, one concerned with developing a launch system, ELDO European Launch Development Organization, and the other the precursor of the European Space Agency, ESRO European Space Research Organization. The latter was established on 20 March 1964 by an agreement signed on 14 June 1962. From 1968 to 1972, ESRO launched seven research satellites. ESA in its current form was founded with the ESA Convention in 1975, when ESRO was merged with ELDO. ESA had ten founding member states, Belgium, Denmark, France, West Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. These signed the ESA Convention in 1975 and deposited the instruments of ratification by 1980, when the convention came into force. During this interval the agency functioned in a de facto fashion. ESA launched its first major scientific mission in 1975, CUS-B, a space probe monitoring gamma-ray emissions in the universe, which was first worked on by ESRO. Later activities 
The ESA collaborated with NASA on the International Ultraviolet Explorer IUE, the world's first high-orbit telescope, which was launched in 1978 and operated successfully for 18 years. A number of successful Earth orbit projects followed, and in 1986 ESA began JATO, its first deep space mission, to study the comets Halley and Griggs Schellerup. Hipparchos, a star mapping mission, was launched in 1989 and in the 1990s SOHO, Ulysses and the Hubble Space Telescope were all jointly carried out with NASA. Later scientific missions in cooperation with NASA include the Cassini-Huygens space probe, to which ESA contributed by building the Titan landing module Huygens. As the successor of ELDO, ESA has also constructed rockets for scientific and commercial payloads. Ariane 1, launched in 1979, carried mostly commercial payloads into orbit from 1984 onward. The next two versions of the Ariane rocket were intermediate stages in the development of a more advanced launch system, the Ariane 4, which operated between 1988 and 2003 and established ESA as the world leader in commercial space launches in the 1990s. Although the succeeding Ariane 5 experienced a failure on its first flight, it has since firmly established itself within the heavily competitive commercial space launch market with 82 successful launches until 2018. The successor launch vehicle of Ariane 5, the Ariane 6, is under development and is envisioned to enter service in the 2020s. The beginning of the new millennium saw ESA become, along with agencies like NASA, JAXA, ISRO, CSA and Roscosmos, one of the major participants in scientific space research. Although ESA had relied on cooperation with NASA in previous decades, especially the 1990s, changed circumstances such as tough legal restrictions on information sharing by the United States military led to decisions to rely more on itself and on cooperation with Russia. A 2011 press issue thus stated, Russia is ESA's first partner in its efforts to ensure long-term access to space. There is a framework agreement between ESA and the government of the Russian Federation on cooperation and partnership in the exploration and use of outer space for peaceful purposes, and cooperation is already underway in two different areas of launcher activity that will bring benefits to both partners. Notable outcomes are ESAs include SMART-1, a probe testing cutting-edge new space propulsion technology, the Mars Express and Venus Express missions, as well as the development of the Ariane 5 rocket and its role in the ISS partnership. ESA maintains its scientific and research projects mainly for astronomy space missions such as KORO, launched on 27 December 2006, a milestone in the search for exoplanets. On 21 January 2019, Ariane Group and Ariane Space announced a one-year contract with the ESA to study and prepare for a mission to mine the Moon for lunar regolith. Topic. Mission The treaty establishing the European Space Agency reads ESA's purpose shall be to provide for, and to promote, for exclusively peaceful purposes, cooperation among the European states in space research and technology and their space applications, with a view to their being used for scientific purposes and for operational space application systems. ESA is responsible for setting a unified space and related industrial policy, recommending space objectives to the member states, and integrating national programs like satellite development, into the European program as much as possible. Jean-Jacques Dordain, ESA's Director General 2003-2015, outlined the European Space Agency's mission in a 2003 interview. Today space activities have pursued the benefit of citizens, and citizens are asking for a better quality of life on Earth. 
They want greater security and economic wealth, but they also want to pursue their dreams, to increase their knowledge, and they want younger people to be attracted to the pursuit of science and technology. I think that space can do all of this, it can produce a higher quality of life, better security, more economic wealth, and also fulfill our citizens' dreams and thirst for knowledge, and attract the young generation. This is the reason space exploration is an integral part of overall space activities. It has always been so, and it will be even more important in the future. Topic. Activities and programs ESA describes its work in two overlapping ways. For the general public, the various fields of work are described as activities. Budgets are organized as programs, British spelling retained because it is a term of official documents. These are either mandatory or optional. Topic activities According to the ESA website, the activities are, observing the Earth-human spaceflight launchers navigation space science space engineering and technology operations telecommunications and integrated applications preparing for the future space for climate. Topic. Programs Horizon 2000 Cosmic Vision Living Planet Program Copernicus Program 1 ExoMars 2 Galileo 3 FAST20XX Topic Mandatory Every member country must contribute to these programs listed according to Technology Research Program Science Core Technology Program General Study Program European Component Initiative Topic. Optional Depending on their individual choices the countries can contribute to the following programs, listed according to Launchers Earth observation Human spaceflight and exploration Telecommunications Navigation Space situational awareness Technology Topic. Member states, funding and budget Topic. Membership and contribution to ESA By 2015, ESA was an intergovernmental organization of 22 member states. Member states participate to varying degrees in the mandatory 25% of total expenditures in 2008 and optional space programs 75% of total expenditures in 2008. The 2008 budget amounted to €3 billion, Euros, the 2009 budget to €3.6 billion. Euros. The total budget amounted to about €3.7 billion Euros in 2010, €3.99 billion Euros in 2011, €4.02 billion Euros in 2012, €4.28 billion Euros in 2013, €4.10 billion Euros in 2014 and €4.33 billion Euros in 2015. Languages generally used are English and French. Additionally, official documents are also provided in German and documents regarding the Spacelab are also provided in Italian. If found appropriate, the agency may conduct its correspondence in any language of a member state. The following table lists all the member states and adjunct members, their ESA convention ratification dates, and their contributions in 2019. Topic. Non-full member states Topic. Slovenia 
Currently the only associated member state is Slovenia. Previously associated members were Austria, Norway and Finland, all of which later joined ESA as full members. Canada Since 1 January 1979, Canada has had the special status of a cooperating state within ESA. By virtue of this accord, the Canadian Space Agency takes part in ESA's deliberative bodies and decision-making and also in ESA's programs and activities. Canadian firms can bid for and receive contracts to work on programs. The accord has a provision ensuring a fair industrial return to Canada. The most recent cooperation agreement was signed on 15 December 2010 with a term extending to 2020. For 2014, Canada's annual assessed contribution to the ESA general budget was €6,059,449 for 2017, Canada has increased its annual contribution to €21,600,000 Budget appropriation and allocation ESA is funded from annual contributions by national governments as well as from an annual contribution by the European Union EU. .The budget of ESA was €5.250 billion Euros in 2016. Every three to four years, ESA member states agree on a budget plan for several years at an ESA member states conference. This plan can be amended in future years, however provides the major guideline for ESA for several years. The 2016 budget allocations for major areas of ESA activity are shown in the chart on the right. Countries typically have their own space programs that differ in how they operate organizationally and financially with ESA. For example, the French space agency CNES has a total budget of €2,015 million, Euros, of which €755 million Euros is paid as direct financial contribution to ESA. Several space-related projects are joint projects between national space agencies and ESA e also, ESA is not the only European governmental space organization for example European Union Satellite Centre. <inaudible> Enlargement After the decision of the ESA Council of 21-22 March 2001, the procedure for accession of the European states was detailed as described the document titled, The Plan for European Co-Operating States PECS. Nations that want to become a full member of ESA do so in three stages. First a cooperation agreement is signed between the country and ESA. In this stage, the country has very limited financial responsibilities. If a country wants to cooperate more fully with ESA, it signs a European Cooperating State ECS agreement. The ECS agreement makes companies based in the country eligible for participation in ESA procurements. The country can also participate in all ESA programs, except for the Basic Technology Research Program. While the financial contribution of the country concerned increases, it is still much lower than that of a full member state. The agreement is normally followed by a plan for European Cooperating State or PEX Charter. This is a five-year program of basic research and development activities aimed at improving the nation's space industry capacity. At the end of the five-year period, the country can either begin negotiations to become a full member state or an associated state or sign a new PEX charter. Many countries, most of which joined the EU in both 2004 and 2007, have started to cooperate with ESA on various levels. 
During the ministerial meeting in December 2014, ESA ministers approved a resolution calling for discussions to begin with Israel, Australia and South Africa on future association agreements. The ministers noted that concrete cooperation is at an advanced stage with these nations and that prospects for mutual benefits are existing. A separate space exploration strategy resolution calls for further cooperation with the United States, Russia, and China on LEO exploration, including a continuation of ISS cooperation and the development of a robust plan for the coordinated use of space transportation vehicles and systems for exploration purposes, participation in robotic missions for the exploration of the Moon, the robotic exploration of Mars, leading to a broad Mars sample return mission in which Europe should be involved as a full partner, and human missions beyond LEO in the longer term. <laughs> EU and the European Space Agency The political perspective of the European Union EU was to make ESA an agency of the EU by 2014, although this date was not met. The EU is already the largest single donor to ESA's budget and non-ESA EU states are observers at ESA. <laughs> <laughs> Launch vehicle fleet ESA has a fleet of different launch vehicles in service with which it competes in all sectors of the launch market. ESA's fleet consists of three major rocket designs, Ariane 5, Soyuz 2 and Vega. Rocket launches are carried out by Ariane Space, which has 23 shareholders representing the industry that manufactures the Ariane 5 as well as CNES, at ESA's Guiana Space Center. Because many communication satellites have equatorial orbits, launches from French Guiana are able to take larger payloads into space than from spaceports at higher latitudes. In addition, equatorial launches give spacecraft an extra push of nearly 500 meters per second due to the higher rotational velocity of the Earth at the equator compared to near the Earth's poles where rotational velocity approaches zero. Ariane 5 The Ariane 5 rocket is ESA's primary launcher. It has been in service since 1997 and replaced Ariane 4. Two different variants are currently in use. The heaviest and most used version, the Ariane 5 ECA, delivers two communication satellites of up to 10 tons into GTO. It failed during its first test flight in 2002, but has since made 82 consecutive successful flights until a partial failure in January 2018. The other version, Ariane 5S, was used to launch the Automated Transfer Vehicle ATV, to the International Space Station ISS, and will be used to launch four Galileo navigational satellites at a time. In November 2012, ESA agreed to build an upgraded variant called Ariane 5Me mid-life evolution, which would increase payload capacity to 11.5 tons to GTO and feature a restartable second stage to allow more complex missions. Ariane 5 ME was scheduled to fly in 2018, but the whole project was scrapped in favor of Ariane 6, planned to replace Ariane 5 in the 2020s. ESA's Ariane 1, 2, 3 and 4 launchers the last of which was ESA's longtime workhorse have been retired. Soyuz Soyuz 2 also called the Soyuz Street or Soyuz STK is a Russian medium payload launcher CA 3 metric tons to GTO which was brought into ESA service in October 2011 ESA entered into a 340 million euros joint venture with the Russian Federal Space Agency over the use of the Soyuz launcher 
Under the agreement, the Russian agency manufactures Soyuz rocket parts for ESA, which are then shipped to French Guiana for assembly. ESA benefits because it gains a medium payload launcher, complementing its fleet while saving on development costs. In addition, the Soyuz rocket, which has been the Russian space launch workhorse for some 40 years, is proven technology with a very good safety record. Russia benefits in that it gets access to the Kourou launch site. Due to its proximity to the equator, launching from Kourou rather than Baikonur nearly doubles Soyuz's payload to GTO 3.0 tons versus 1.7 tons. Soyuz first launched from Kourou on 21 October 2011, and successfully placed two Galileo satellites into orbit 23,222 km above Earth. Vega Vega is ESA's carrier for small satellites. Developed by seven ESA members led by Italy, it is capable of carrying a payload with a mass of between 300 and 1,500 kg to an altitude of 700 km, for low polar orbit. Its maiden launch from Kourou was on 13 February 2012. Vega began full commercial exploitation in December 2015. The rocket has three solid propulsion stages and a liquid propulsion upper stage, the AVUM, for accurate orbital insertion and the ability to place multiple payloads into different orbits. Topic: <laughs> Ariane Launch Vehicle Development Funding. Historically, the Ariane family rockets have been funded primarily with money contributed by ESA governments seeking to participate in the program rather than through competitive industry bids. This has meant that governments commit multi-year funding to the development with the expectation of a roughly 90% return on investment in the form of industrial work share. ESA is proposing changes to this scheme by moving to competitive bids for the development of the Ariane 6. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Human space flight. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> History. At the time ESA was formed, its main goals did not encompass human space flight, rather it considered itself to be primarily a scientific research organization for unmanned space exploration in contrast to its American and Soviet counterparts. It is therefore not surprising that the first non-Soviet European in space was not an ESA astronaut on a European spacecraft, it was Czechoslovak Vladimir Remek who in 1978 became the first non-Soviet or American in space the first man in space being Yuri Gagarin of the Soviet Union on a Soviet Soyuz spacecraft, followed by the Pole Miroslav Hermeshevsky and East German Sigmund Jan in the same year. This Soviet cooperation program, known as Intercosmos, primarily involved the participation of Eastern Bloc countries. In 1982, however, Jean-Luc Chrétien became the first non-communist Bloc astronaut on a flight to the Soviet Salyut 7 space station. Because Chrétien did not officially fly into space as an ESA astronaut, but rather as a member of the French CNES astronaut corps, the German Ulf Meerbold is considered the first ESA astronaut to fly into space. He participated in the STS-9 space shuttle mission that included the first use of the European-built Spacelab in 1983. STS-9 marked the beginning of an extensive ESA-NASA joint partnership that included dozens of space flights of ESA astronauts in the following years. Some of these missions with Spacelab were fully funded and organizationally and scientifically controlled by ESA such as two missions by Germany and one by Japan with European astronauts as full crew members rather than guests on board. 
Beside paying for Spacelab flights and seats on the shuttles, ESA continued its human space flight cooperation with the Soviet Union and later Russia, including numerous visits to Mir. During the latter half of the 1980s, European human space flights changed from being the exception to routine and therefore, in 1990, the European Astronaut Centre in Cologne, Germany was established. It selects and trains prospective astronauts and is responsible for the coordination with international partners, especially with regard to the International Space Station. As of 2006, the ESA Astronaut Corps officially included 12 members, including nationals from most large European countries except the United Kingdom. In the summer of 2008, ESA started to recruit new astronauts so that final selection would be due in spring 2009. Almost 10,000 people registered as astronaut candidates before registration ended in June 2008. 8,413 fulfilled the initial application criteria. Of the applicants, 918 were chosen to take part in the first stage of psychological testing, which narrowed down the field to 192. After two-stage psychological tests and medical evaluation in early 2009, as well as formal interviews, six new members of the European Astronaut Corps were selected, five men and one woman. Topic. Astronaut names The astronauts of the European Space Agency are topic. Crew vehicles In the 1980s, France pressed for an independent European crew launch vehicle. Around 1978 it was decided to pursue a reusable spacecraft model and starting in November 1987 a project to create a mini-shuttle by the name of Hermes was introduced. The craft was comparable to early proposals for the space shuttle and consisted of a small reusable spaceship that would carry three to five astronauts and three to four metric tons of payload for scientific experiments. With a total maximum weight of 21 metric tons it would have been launched on the Ariane 5 rocket, which was being developed at that time. It was planned solely for use in low Earth orbit space flights. The planning and pre-development phase concluded in 1991. The production phase was never fully implemented because at that time the political landscape had changed significantly. With the fall of the Soviet Union ESA looked forward to cooperation with Russia to build a next-generation space vehicle. Thus the Hermes program was cancelled in 1995 after about $3 billion had been spent. The Columbus Space Station program had a similar fate. In the 21st century, ESA started new programs in order to create its own crew vehicles, most notable among its various projects and proposals as Hopper, whose prototype by EADS, called Phoenix, has already been tested. While projects such as Hopper are neither concrete nor to be realized within the next decade, other possibilities for human spaceflight in cooperation with the Russian Space Agency have emerged. Following talks with the Russian Space Agency in 2004 and June 2005, a cooperation between ESA and the Russian Space Agency was announced to jointly work on the Russian-designed Clipper, a reusable spacecraft that would be available for space travel beyond LEO e.g. the Moon or even Mars. It was speculated that Europe would finance part of it. A €50 million Euros participation study for Clipper, which was expected to be approved in December 2005, was finally not approved by the ESA member states. The Russian state tender for the project was subsequently cancelled in 2006. In June 2006, ESA member states granted €15 million to the Crew Space Transportation System CSTS study, a two-year study to design a spacecraft capable of going beyond low Earth orbit based on the current Soyuz design. This project was pursued with Roscosmos instead of the cancelled Clipper proposal. 
A decision on the actual implementation and construction of the CSTS spacecraft was contemplated for 2008. In mid-2009 EADS Astrium was awarded a €21 million Euro study into designing a crew vehicle based on the European ATV which is believed to now be the basis of the Advanced Crew Transportation System design. In November 2012, ESA decided to join NASA's Orion program. The ATV would form the basis of a propulsion unit for NASA's new manned spacecraft. ESA may also seek to work with NASA on Orion's launch system as well in order to secure a seat on the spacecraft for its own astronauts. In September 2014, ESA signed an agreement with Sierra Nevada Corporation for cooperation in Dream Chaser project. Further studies on the Dream Chaser for European Utilization or DC-4 EU project were funded, including the feasibility of launching a Europeanized Dream Chaser on board Ariane 5. <laughs> Cooperation with other countries and organizations ESA has signed cooperation agreements with the following states that currently neither plan to integrate as tightly with ESA institutions as Canada, nor envision future membership of ESA, Argentina, Brazil, China, India for the Chandrayaan mission, Russia and Turkey. Additionally, ESA has joint projects with the European Union, NASA of the United States and is participating in the International Space Station together with the United States, NASA. NASA, Russia and Japan JAXA. Topic European Union ESA is not an agency or body of the European Union EU, and has non-EU countries Norway, and Switzerland as members. There are however ties between the two, with various agreements in place and being worked on, to define the legal status of ESA with regard to the EU, there are common goals between ESA and the EU. ESA has an EU liaison office in Brussels. On certain projects, the EU and ESA cooperate, such as the upcoming Galileo satellite navigation system. Space policy has since December 2009 been an area for voting in the European Council. Under the European Space Policy of 2007, the EU, ESA and its member states committed themselves to increasing coordination of their activities and programs and to organizing their respective roles relating to space. The Lisbon Treaty of 2009 reinforces the case for space in Europe and strengthens the role of ESA as an R&D space agency. Article 189 of the treaty gives the EU a mandate to elaborate a European space policy and take related measures, and provides that the EU should establish appropriate relations with ESA. Former Italian astronaut Umberto Guidoni, during his tenure as a member of the European Parliament from 2004 to 2009, stressed the importance of the European Union as a driving force for space exploration. Since other players are coming up such as India and China it is becoming ever more important that Europeans can have an independent access to space. We have to invest more into space research and technology in order to have an industry capable of competing with other international players. The first EU ESA International Conference on Human Space Exploration took place in Prague on 22 and 23 October 2009. A road map which would lead to a common vision and strategic planning in the area of space exploration was discussed. Ministers from all 29 EU and ESA members as well as members of Parliament were in attendance. <laughs> <laughs> National Space Organizations of Member States The Centre National d'Études Spatiales CNES National Centre for Space Study is the French government space agency administratively, a public establishment of industrial and commercial character. Its headquarters are in central Paris. CNES is the main participant on the Ariane project. 
Indeed, CNES designed and tested all Ariane family rockets mainly from its centre in Avery near Paris. The UK Space Agency is a partnership of the UK government departments which are active in space. Through the UK Space Agency, the partners provide delegates to represent the UK on the various ESA governing bodies. Each partner funds its own programme. The Italian Space Agency Agenzia Spaziale Italiana or ASI, was founded in 1988 to promote, coordinate and conduct space activities in Italy. Operating under the Ministry of the Universities and of Scientific and Technological Research, the agency cooperates with numerous entities active in space technology and with the President of the Council of Ministers. Internationally, the ASI provides Italy's delegation to the Council of the European Space Agency and to its subordinate bodies. The German Aerospace Center DLR, German, Deutsches Zentrum für Luft und Raumfahrt e. V, is the national research center for aviation and space flight of the Federal Republic of Germany and of other member states in the Helmholtz Association. Its extensive research and development projects are included in national and international cooperative programs. In addition to its research projects, the center is the assigned space agency of Germany bestowing headquarters of German space flight activities and its associates. The Instituto Nacional de Tecnica Aeroespacial INTA, National Institute for Aerospace Technique is a public research organization specialized in aerospace research and technology development in Spain. Among other functions, it serves as a platform for space research and acts as a significant testing facility for the aeronautic and space sector in the country. NASA ESA has a long history of collaboration with NASA. Since ESA's astronaut corps was formed, the Space Shuttle has been the primary launch vehicle used by ESA's astronauts to get into space through partnership programs with NASA. In the 1980s and 1990s, the Spacelab program was an ESA-NASA joint research program that had ESA develop and manufacture orbital labs for the Space Shuttle for several flights on which ESA participate with astronauts in experiments. In robotic science mission and exploration missions, NASA has been ESA's main partner. Cassini-Huygens was a joint NASA-ESA mission, along with the Infrared Space Observatory, Integral, SOHO, and others. Also, the Hubble Space Telescope is a joint project of NASA and ESA. Future ESA-NASA joint projects include the James Webb Space Telescope and the proposed Laser Interferometer Space Antenna. NASA has committed to provide support to ESA's proposed Marco Polo R mission to return an asteroid sample to Earth for further analysis. NASA and ESA will also likely join together for a Mars sample return mission. Topic: <laughs> Cooperation with other space agencies. Since China has started to invest more money into space activities, the Chinese Space Agency has sought international partnerships. ESA is, beside the Russian Space Agency, one of its most important partners. Two space agencies cooperated in the development of the Double Star mission. In 2017, ESA sent two astronauts to China for two weeks sea survival training with Chinese astronauts in Yantai, Shandong. ESA entered into a major joint venture with Russia in the form of the CSTS, the preparation of French Guiana spaceport for launches of Soyuz 2 rockets and other projects. With India, ESA agreed to send instruments into space aboard the ISROS Chandrayaan 1 in 2008. ESA is also co-operating with Japan. The most notable current project in collaboration with JAXA is the BepiColombo mission to Mercury. 
Speaking to reporters at an air show near Moscow in August 2011, ESA head Jean-Jacques Dordain said ESA and Russia's Roscosmos Space Agency would carry out the first flight to Mars together. Topic: International Space Station. With regard to the International Space Station ISS ESA is not represented by all of its member states, 10 of the 21 ESA member states currently participate in the project, Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Spain, Sweden and Switzerland. Austria, Finland and Ireland chose not to participate, because of lack of interest or concerns about the expense of the project. The United Kingdom withdrew from the preliminary agreement because of concerns about the expense of the project. Portugal, Luxembourg, Greece, the Czech Republic, Romania and Poland joined ESA after the agreement had been signed. ESA is taking part in the construction and operation of the ISS with contributions such as Columbus, a science laboratory module that was brought into orbit by NASA's STS-122 Space Shuttle mission and the Cupola Observatory module that was completed in July 2005 by Alenia Spazio for ESA. The current estimates for the ISS are approaching 100 billion euros in total development, construction and 10 years of maintaining the station of which ESA has committed to paying 8 billion euros. About 90% of the costs of ESA's ISS share will be contributed by Germany 41%, France 28% and Italy 20%. German ESA astronaut Thomas Ryder was the first long-term ISS crew member. ESA has developed the automated transfer vehicle for ISS resupply. Each ATV has a cargo capacity of 7,667 kg 16,903 pounds. The first ATV, Jules Verne, was launched on 9 March 2008 and on 3 April 2008 successfully docked with the ISS. This maneuver, considered a major technical feat, involved using automated systems to allow the ATV to track the ISS, moving at 27,000 km per hour, and attach itself with an accuracy of 2 cm. As of 2013, the spacecraft establishing supply links to the ISS are the Russian Progress and Soyuz, European ATV, Japanese Kunotori HTV, and the USA COTS program vehicles Dragon and Cygnus. European Life and Physical Sciences research on board the International Space Station ISS is mainly based on the European Programme for Life and Physical Sciences in Space program that was initiated in 2001. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Languages According to Annex 1, Resolution No. 8 of the ESA Convention and Council Rules of Procedure, English, French and German may be used in all meetings of the agency, with interpretation provided into these three languages. All official documents are available in English and French with all documents concerning the ESA Council being available in German as well. Topic. Facilities ESA Headquarters HQ, Paris, France European Space Operations Centre ESOC, Darmstadt, Germany European Space Research and Technology Centre ESTEC, Nordweg, the Netherlands European Space Astronomy Centre ESAC, Madrid, Spain European Centre for Space Applications and Telecommunications ECSAT, Oxfordshire, United Kingdom European Astronaut Centre EAC, Cologne, Germany ESA Centre for Earth Observation ESRIN, Frascati, Italy Guiana Space Centre CSG, Kourou, French Guiana 
European Space Tracking Network ESTRACK European Data Relay System Topic ESA and the EU Institutions The flag of Europe is the one to be flown in space during missions for example it was flown by ESA's Andre Kuipers during Delta mission. The Commission is increasingly working together towards common objectives. Some 20% of the funds managed by ESA now originate from the supranational budget of the European Union. However, in recent years the ties between ESA and the European institutions have been reinforced by the increasing role that space plays in supporting Europe's social, political and economic policies. The legal basis for the EU-ESA cooperation is provided by a framework agreement which entered into force in May 2004. According to this agreement, the European Commission and ESA coordinate their actions through the Joint Secretariat, a small team of EC's administrators and ESA executive. The member states of the two organizations meet at ministerial level in the Space Council, which is a concomitant meeting of the EU and ESA councils, prepared by member states' representatives in the high-level Space Policy Group HSPG. ESA maintains a liaison office in Brussels to facilitate relations with the European institutions. Topic: <laughs> Guaranteeing European access to space. In May 2007, the 29 European countries expressed their support for the European space policy in a resolution of the Space Council, unifying the approach of ESA with those of the European Union and their member states. Prepared jointly by the European Commission and ESA's Director General, the European Space Policy sets out a basic vision and strategy for the space sector and addresses issues such as security and defence, access to space and exploration. Through this resolution, the EU, ESA and their member states all commit to increasing coordination of their activities and programmes and their respective roles relating to space. Topic. Incidents On 3 August 1984, the ESA's Paris headquarters were severely damaged and six people were hurt when a bomb exploded, planted by the far-left Armed Action Direct Group. On 14 December 2015, hackers from Anonymous breached the ESA's subdomains and leaked thousands of login credentials. Topic. See also Agencies of the European Union Enhanced Cooperation European Union Agency for the Space Programme European Integration Hashtag Space European Launcher Development Organization ELDO, European Space Research Organization ESRO, Eurospace List of Directors General of the European Space Agency List of Projects of the European Space Agency Space Policy of the European Union List of Government Space Agencies <laughs>